Today we're going to be trying to gather in a tier 6 black zone using a tier 6 setup here. Uh, this entire set is worth at least 105,000 silver. We're going to try to farm for about 30 minutes and I'm going to try to use the little last bit of invisibility buff that I have to get away from all the roads and exit so that I can just start skinning animals, get a good amount, and then teleport back home. The timer will start for 30 minutes as soon as I eat a beef stew. That's right, I'm using a beef stew. I'm not using a pork pie because I want as much damage as possible with this 4.1 spear that I have uh, so that I can skin just a little bit more efficiently and fast. That's all. That's the only point is, uh, is efficiency in killing animals so that we can skin them and make a profit. We're going to see how much silver we make in this 30 minutes. See if it beats our blue zone gathering, which I don't think it will. Uh, I also have to find the animals to skin, and it looks like a lot of them are already picked clean. But uh, it looks like we found some up here, or at least there's one. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the beef stew, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, and begin. Alright, so I am using a spear in conjunction with the... Uh, skinning armor to very very quickly dispatch of tier 5 and tier 6 mobs i would prefer to get enchanted mobs but you can see that even though it is a black zone it is quite desolate and yes there are other players around i'm trying to avoid um, the shiny like in the top part of the map there's going to be a mining node that pops up later that alerts the whole map so i'm trying to avoid that to avoid foot traffic there are if there's ever a player around that sees my nameplate i have to immediately leave the area because what happens is this is not my territory right this i am not in a guild i am not in a hideout i'm not in an alliance with any of these guild members so when i spot someone that has a guild tag that has a hideout in the area that means they're on discord hey there's a guy in our in our in our zone you know huh, huh, let's kill him he's probably got a lot of fat loot on him and then before you know it 10 people will pour out of these hideouts and kill you and yes, that's not always the case, but it does happen. So you have to play very defensively. You have to be completely mobile. Never even give them the thought that they can catch you off guard. Because if you don't immediately mount up and start running from them, they will dismount near you to test your, your metal. They'll see what you're doing, how you react. Check and see if you're a bot. They'll check and see if you have uh, any kind of... Uh, uh, what is it, per uh, perception around you, and also um, I'm playing with my sound up so I can hear any kind of mouth noises, animal noises, so I can, like that's a way to find animals to skin off screen is you just listen for their footsteps, and you can hear different animals make different footsteps. Anyway, so um, Black Zone Farming, not really the best, but I'm going to let the live recording of Soul Benji tell you all about that, and here we go. Okay, and that is basically 30 minutes. We got like 13 seconds left. That's not enough time to find another mob. Now, I was chased by one guy for just a little bit. Now, don't ever let someone run up to you and be like, Hi, because they're scouting and they're buying a time so that they can radio in their guildies in Discord to come hunt you down. Alright, so uh, I also had to play a little bit stealthy. There was a few other people that if they came near... If, they were, if their nameplate was even on the screen, I had to immediately abandon the stack, so I did lose a few tier 6 hides and a few tier 5 hides, but not, not too bad. It was actually a really, really smooth and uh, profitable run, but unfortunately, this does not beat blue zone farming at all. If you're in full tier 8 and you're farming a blue zone, you'll make way more silver. So, uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair and then sell my uh, skinning knife, and then I'll show you how much that we made. Now, I do want to mention also that because we're farming in the black zone, we do not get faction points, and we do we did not fill any uh, journals because there's a high risk of losing your journals when you die in the black zone, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and sell order that. So, our what we farmed in 30 minutes was 250,000, basically rounded up. You can see here it's 249,557. I risked 100,000 silver in the cheapest possible gear. To only make 250,000 or 500,000 an hour. So farming tier 6 black zones as a skinner in tier 6 gear not worth it. You could say, well, it's worth it if you have a better weapon. And let me tell you why you're wrong, okay? So all the, all the damage comes from the hide animal poison, okay? And I'm technically doing something that the game probably doesn't like me doing so I can deal more damage. Uh, members know what I'm talking about. If you want to be a channel member, click that join button. Five bucks a month. It's like being subscribed on Twitch. But it's on YouTube. You get access to private, more personal 
and videos that I don't want released to the public. There is a playlist in the pin comment. Anyway, with that said, 250,000 silver per hour on that run, sure. Maybe some runs could be more profitable, but let me tell you, we got three stacks of 6.3, which was 58,000, which you're not going to find most of the time. So realistically, we barely scrapped 200,000 in that 30 minutes. Okay, and uh, yeah, th there's just... Maybe a tier 7 zone might be better. Tier 8 zone, those things are patrolled all to hell. I picked a tier 6 zone because not only was it kind of close, so you don't have to travel for like 20 minutes at a time, but also because it was low population when I scouted it earlier. Um, and that would make, you know, for a decent video for anyone that's thinking, hey, maybe I should go... Like, if you go to Reddit, every single post will tell you the black zones are more profitable, but it's clearly not. I have an entire ensemble of videos on my channel both with and without premium that show that the blue zone and yellow zone for skinning is far far more profitable for your time spent okay and i can i can kind of tell you why like uh, let me show you one heavy hide okay we skin an animal and we get two to three heavy hides these are worth 337 each or 900 silver okay and then if i type hide here and we go to a tier two hide okay so, one of these rugged hides is worth 56, and guess what? We get, like, uh, 18 to 24 of these per Impala, and there's, like, seven Impalas in a pack. So, each Impala is worth 1,500 silver plus, and you can tag, like, seven of those things in a, in a single little her herd, right? You're making way more money farming the Tier 2 than you are the Tier 5, because you're only getting two to three of these for 900 per animal, and they take longer to skin. Whereas you can completely evaporate an Impala, okay? I'm just, I'm just saying, like I can, I can ride out right now and show you. I'm just, I'll go kill an Impala, in in this tier six gear and show you. It's, it's nuts. It's crazy. Just, it's, <laughs> it's just the more superior farm, okay? I am going the long way, but whatever. That's fine. I'm telling you, like, go look at my other videos. I have like seven or ten skinning videos out there. Just farming the blue zone without, like, without premium, farming the blue zones earns me more silver per hour than with premium in a tier 6 black zone. And you can be like, well, it's because you're using tier 8 gear over tier 6. And it's like, are you going to risk tier 8 gear as a solo player with no guild, no protection, no friends, no escort, no hideout? I don't think so. If you do, you're crazy. And yeah, maybe if you're that crazy, you might be able to profit. Okay, look, look at these Impalas. Look at these little Impalas. They're just... Hey, they're right outside town. Look at this. Okay. Now, and they're easy to kill. I don't have my hide poison up, but they're super easy to kill. We'll just do, dash them. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna harvest one of them. I don't have a skinning knife. <laughs> I, uh, I sold my skinning knife, guys. Okay, those Impalas will hopefully still be there. Someone might skin them. But we're going to... I'm showing you this. I am proving to you that that is the case, okay? Because it is ridiculous... How, like, every single Redditor ever is like, oh, there's high risk, high reward, black zone, black zone, black zone. That is not, mm, it's not the case, dude. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it is, n it, like, it makes sense that, you know, if you risk more gear and you go to the more dangerous zones in the game that you would get a higher reward. But I'm telling you, it's not the case. And yes, you can complain that I'm using a tier 8 Avalonian skinning knife. You're never going to risk Avalonian knives as a solo player. Let me just tell you that right now. You're never, ever, ever going to risk Avalonian grade gathering equipment. But in the blue and yellow zones, you can't lose it. Uh, but my repairs, you're going to make way more money uh, than the cost of repairs, okay? Uh, for those that don't realize it, the tier 8 Avalonian skinning knife has incredible durability that almost never goes down when you skin a bunch of uh, uh, low tier animals. So... Here's the animals that we killed earlier. They're still there. They've already respawned. So let's harvest those up. And uh, look at that. That's worth 3,188. And that took seconds, okay? You poke them once, okay? And uh, and they, they just die to the poison. Like, well, in this case, not so much. But look at that. And then look, they're, they're fully stacked back up again. So now I just made, now I'm at 5,000. Hey, look, two more Impalas. Oh no. You know, right? And they die so easy because they're little babies. Suck those up, and hey, guess what? The stack is worth 7.5k. It's, uh... <laughs> and it takes seconds. Seconds complete. It's... Uh, I'm not saying just go farm Impalas. Um, you know, Tier 3 is not all, is not bad either, you know? Some Tier 3 animals, they, they give just as much. And you can farm just as much from them, kill them just as quickly. The Tier 4 animals drop babies. Yes, those wolves do drop babies. They can drop cubs. Uh, but they're not... They're barely worth more than a stag cub, okay? Uh, anyway, guys... <laughs> 
Uh, that's the video. I'm just trying to show you guys. I'm, I appreciate you guys watching it this far. And I know I sound like a crazed lunatic, but I'm very passionate about teaching you that uh, not only is the Black Zone not efficient for solo players, it is also uh, the Blue and Yellow Zones are far more efficient for solo players, but also it's more efficient than the Mists, because I did a video on farming the Mists with the best, best, best possible gear ever, and it's so disappointing, okay? Like, no one's going to risk 8.4 max spec stuff. It's just insane. All right, that's all I've got. I read every comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you want me to show you next. Like, th there's no d proving this wrong, you know? Redditors are all like, Ugh, this whole binge keeps people in the blue and yellow zones. I do for a good reason. Look, if it was actually better to go to the black zone to make money, then I would tell people. Because that's how you get fans and subscribers is by telling the truth. But it's whatever, guys. Uh, on screen right now is a video that you should probably click. It's a really good one. And also, make sure you subscribe because videos every single day. I'm actually trying to put more of it than one video out a day. It's kind of hard, though, because uh, you can only say so much at one time, right? Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Uh, and uh, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care. Mwah.